What's going on, freaks? Welcome to Fre- his, his hat's not in the frame. He's proud of his new hat. <laughs> Welcome to Fridays at the Freak Show. So, uh, first of all, I want to say that I'm not using the uh, uh, this microphone right here. If I can get it. It's tangled. not using this right now because your boy messed up. And woke up a little bit too late, and so I'm trying to make this quick so I can get my booty to work while this uploads. So, I want to uh, do a little bit of a recap real quick, and also there's no real editing, and I might not have the uh, the the uh, theme song running in the background. There might not be an end screen, but I want a video up for you guys on Friday because uh, that was messed up um, the first time. So uh, what had happened, and this is, this is the recap, <laughs> what had happened was that I thought HitFilm messed it up. I thought HitFilm messed up the render and everything because everything was all out of sync and stuff like that. The, the audio was behind the uh, the video because the video kept like skipping and going like too fast so uh yeah i i blamed it on hit film and then shortly after that i decided that i was going i, I was going to do a full reset on the computer <laughs> it stopped seven percent through the reset completely shut off and so I had to come in and boot it up, and it booted fine into Windows 10. And then it did it again when I uh, did the reset again. Except it didn't boot up. So uh, I kept on turn on, turn off, turn on, turn off. I kept doing different button combinations, trying to figure out what's going on. And then uh, a friend of mine was like, you need to create a bootable USB. So... That would be right here. This was the USB. It's bent, <laughs> but that, that don't matter. It still works. Um, so I was like, okay, well, I'll try that. And so I had it plugged in after I created it with the other computer. This uh, The other computer is just not as powerful as this one. And, uh, well, uh, at first it did nothing. And I was like, oh, no, it doesn't work. And then I was looking online, and it says use, like, a couple button combinations. And so I was like, okay, I'll try that. It worked! Yay! So, uh, I, yeah, I'm pretty excited. The uh, computer's back in action, and it's actually a lot faster than what it was. Um, I've got a few of my things back on it, and like that's pretty much all I need is those few things. I've got a, I've got a PlayStation emulator. I've got, I've got a HitFilm Express. I've got Audacity for my voice, and uh, had to download a DVD player because Windows 10 disabled uh, uh, Windows Media Player uh, for playing DVDs. You can't do that anymore, which is dumb but I I got a DVD player so I was pretty happy so I, I figured that I was gonna make this video today and I was gonna edit it and everything and of course uh, my alarm woke me up and uh, my wife was talking to me and uh, I shut my alarm off rolled over went back to sleep I was only gonna sleep for a couple minutes apparently my dream was so interesting that I stayed asleep <laughs> and it's like 12, it, actually it's 1 something, and I gotta be at work at 2, but I gotta be at the bus stop at about 1.30, so I'm making this super duper quick, because uh, I've got other stuff to do before I leave, um, but my dream was weird, so I, I was with this group of people, and so was Alyssa, um, and uh, we were... <laughs> I don't, I don't get it, like, there was a part of my dream where I visualized, or not visualized, but, like, I could see, like, this roller coaster on this big building, and the roller coaster was breaking, and then there was another roller coaster that came up behind it, like, two different, uh, you know, 
cars, is that what you call it? And they collided, and then they went back down into the place. And uh, the people at the building went and called us, this whole group of people, to be ready to help pull people out of the rubble. And at first I wasn't thinking, you know, that in my dream I was like, oh yeah, cool, let's do this. Let's do this. And now I'm like, wait a second. Some people might be missing limbs. Okay, I'll help. <laughs> but then I'm thinking also, like, we are standing across the street from this place. But it looked like just a normal, really tall building. It didn't look like anything else. I didn't see any roller coasters or whatever. Uh, it didn't even look like it could house a roller coaster. But apparently this was the same building in my dream. Don't our dreams make sense? No, no they don't. <laughs> but like water was spraying from the building and I'm like, okay, this building is falling apart. And uh, so then it started happening and then everybody was like, oh wait, we're too close. We need to run. And so we all like started running. I grabbed my wife and we started sprinting behind this building. And uh, we, uh, we looked over at the building and it was just like coming down towards us and I was like we gotta run some more we're still too close so we run around the corner and then we hear it all crashing and then I wake up and it was like okay and I looked at the time and I'm like oh I gotta get the video up and I gotta get stuff cleaned and stuff like that before I go oh my gosh so that's where I am right now so yeah I uh have been doing much with videos, and I'm sorry about that. Um, but also, I do want to bring up something really cool and kind of lame to some people. In Overwatch, there's a new character. His name is Doomfist. He was on the, uh, was it, uh, PTR? And uh, he was super, I'd say, super OP in the beginning. They nerfed him so much. Now, like, you can't really jump up to higher areas with him. I think that put other players at a disadvantage because he was so powerful. Um, so, like, that kind of canceled out some heroes in my mind. Uh, so I, I, I like that they nerfed him, but they nerfed some things a little bit too much. Um, and I think they've got a lot of nerfing and a lot of, uh, you know, uh, making heroes powerful to do. They've got a lot of that, uh, or at least more powerful. So that's uh, that's what I'm thinking there. Um, also, I do want to say that uh, my condolences go out to the uh, police officer that was just recently assassinated in her vehicle. It was in the mobile operations unit or something like that. Um, thoughts and prayers go out to her family uh, and friends. I support the thin blue line. If you don't like that, you don't need to be subscribed. If you don't like that, you don't need to be watching these videos. But I hope you still do. Um, I support them. I support my police. The police, I should say. Uh, wholeheartedly. I support them. I always tell them thank you. Um, I think a lot of the drama that we're getting today with the race stuff... It's just based on ignorance. It's based on people not respecting authority. It's 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 based on people not not raising their kids correctly. You're breaking the law. You're gonna end up arrested or shot. You know, if you threaten an officer, if you don't listen to an officer when you're reaching for something, you're gonna end up getting shot or tased. Um, and it's depending upon you know, number one, depending upon the situation. Number two, depending upon what the uh, department has issued. <sighs> but it, you just got to think about these things. If the officer is saying, don't reach for it, don't reach for it, you know, and you're just reaching for your wallet or something, you better just stop reaching for anything. Because, and I'm talking about this Philando Castile case, the, uh, the dash cam came out. The officer was telling him don't reach for his weapon, but he was apparently reaching for his wallet and he kept saying, I'm not reaching for that. Well, then don't reach for anything because the officer's thinking that you are lying to them because you're reaching past your, you're reaching by your weapon. 
So uh, what you have to do is you have to let the officer disarm you. It's the law. You have to you have to ask the officer if you can be disarmed, if you can be calmly disarmed by the officer. They have to for their safety and yours. That has to happen, and that did not happen. So uh, yeah, um, we just gotta learn our laws. We gotta we gotta respect. We gotta we gotta teach our kids to respect. We've gotta teach our kids to not steal, not harm other people. Stuff like that. We get, we gotta do that. And this whole F the police thing that no no. No. They're doing their job. And I know there's some out there that mess it up for the rest of them. But don't focus on them. Focus on the good ones. Focus on the ones that are really doing their job because they love their job. Because they love keeping the streets safe. Focus on them. And also learn when it's actually the police officer doing their job. And not the police officer doing wrong. And learn where to put the blame. I think that's what we have to do. <sighs> so, thank you police out there. Thank you so much. You are cared about. Alright guys, that's it for me. I've got to get stuff done. Uh, there was... <laughs> In the original video, there was a lot of interaction with, with Drax, but, uh, you know, some things happen. But <laughs> uh, anyways, guys, be yourselves, be unique, be freaks. I'll see you down the road. God bless y'all. How do you stop this dude?